Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Barbara, come on now, the podcast. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shomat. And I'm going to jump on in on a commentary I want to do about the fact that the New York Yankees have now officially uh, brought back Garrett Cole. Uh, he will be in a Yankee uniform for the next four years. But before we jump in, thank you to everyone for your continued support of our channel. I greatly appreciate you. Um, and everyone who jumped on li- online the uh, on live last night with myself and Ben Daniel, thank you for jumping on board. If you have not done so yet, please be sure to like, subscribe, and follow and become a member of our podcast family as we will be dropping membership content very, very shortly. And jump on over to Rudy's rant and subscribe over there as well. Let's jump in on this Garrett Cole back to New York thing. I got to tell you, you know, I've been a Yankees fan my entire life. I'm I'm 46 years old. I I, I bleed Yankees um, blue. I have, it it, it is the, the Yankees are my favorite team amongst all my favorite teams. So um, my favorite basketball team is the Heat. My favorite football team is the Dolphins. Favorite College football team, the Miami Hurricanes, favorite hockey team is the Panthers. The New York Yankees are my favorite base favorite baseball team. Been my favorite team of all teams from the time I was a baby. So I understand the passion that people have about the Yankees. What I don't understand is how. And you might and you might come back and say, Rudy, oh, yes, yeah, easy for you to talk, Rudy, a uh, pot kettle. I am a constructively critic- critical person. I, I give critique constructively. But there are things that I see people say about the Yankees and the players and the team that I just sit here and I find cringy. I just find them so cringe. For example, the the negative comments about Aaron Judge because he didn't hit the ball well in uh, the playoffs. The comments about Judge is one. Um, I, anything you say about Aaron Boone, I agree with if it's negative. But Aaron Judge, if if it's not for Aaron Judge, the Yankees aren't in the playoffs. If it's not for Aaron Judge, the Yankees aren't playing in these games. And the fact of the matter is Aaron Judge, the way they worked with him, if you've noticed, Aaron Judge seems to get catch these little hiccups and, and small slumps when you sit him. And that is what happened in the last week of the season. Aaron Boone sat Aaron Judge two times in three games. And the last game that Aaron Judge played, he struck out five times. So Aaron Judge carried over into the playoffs a five-strikeout game. The Yankees clinched. He took the day off on the Friday. He played Saturday. And then on Sunday, he did not play again. So he carried over. If I'm if that's if I'm not mistaken, he carried in to the playoffs coming off of a five-strikeout game. That's not how you want to go into the playoffs. And I thought sitting him that last game, last day, after he struck out five times, was absolutely crazy. And you know what? It carried over into the playoffs. And they had a week off. They carried on over in. He had to sit on that five strikeout game for a week. You don't know how that affected him. I have no idea. But. The things that people say about Aaron Judge, I I find despicable. I I find them absolutely despicable. Yeah, I was upset with Aaron Judge. I was pissed. He couldn't hit a beach ball. But that doesn't mean Aaron Judge sucks. That doesn't mean he's not good. That doesn't mean he doesn't belong here. That doesn't mean you should ship him off. Like The reactions of Yankees fans drives me fucking crazy. Aaron Judge is why you were in the playoffs. He didn't have a great playoff. Game five, he hit the ball. He did commit an error. It happens. And then there's the comments about Garrett Cole now. Garrett Cole, $36 million pitcher. Obviously, he was going to opt out. Now, 
I think the Yankees, I'm impressed. I, I, I'm impressed with the Yankees' response. We're not going to give you another year. We're not. And Garrett Cole knows that on the open market at 34, he's not getting five years for $36 million a year or, or five years for two hundred mil. He knows he's not getting that. The market would not support that. Garrett Cole's an excellent pitcher. I want Garrett Cole on my team. But Garrett Cole knows at 34, he's not going to go get a five-year, $200 million deal anywhere. Except for the deal he currently has, which had him with four more years at $36 million a season with the Yankees. So he opted out. And then the Yankees said, well, we're not going to give you an extra year. And he opted right the hell back in. That's per reports. So Garrett Cole is back with the Yankees. But I am reading stuff where people saying, let Garrett Cole go. What? Did you watch Garrett Cole pitch in the World Series? Did you watch Garrett Cole pitch in the earlier rounds? Garrett Cole in the World Series specifically was dominating. He was a monster. I know he got he had an injury. It happens. Garrett Cole has not had any injury. I mean, if you go back to his 2017 season with the Pirates, he started 33, then 32 with the Astros, 33 with the Astros, 12 with the Yankees. That was COVID, 21, 30, 33, 33. So this is the first year he's had an injury issue in the last eight. And he came back and went eight and five with a 3.41 ERA. I mean, he wasn't at his best because he didn't really have a spring training to, to get ready. But he was dominant in the World Series. And if it wasn't for Aaron Boone, the Yankees probably win game one. Because Garrett Cole would have kept on pitching. And if it wasn't for some atrocious defense, the Yankees probably win game five and are playing in a game six. Garrett Cole is 59 and 28 in his five seasons with the Yankees, of which one of them was a COVID shortened year. One of them last year, he won the Cy Young on a team that could not hit 15 and four. 2.63 ERA, exceptional season, exceptional season, 222 strikeouts, 209 innings pitched. I, I don't know what you want, man. I don't know what you want. The year before, he threw, he led the league in strikeouts with 257. The year before that, he had 243 strikeouts, led the league in wins. When he went 16 and 8. I don't know what you want from Garrett Cole. Are you going to get that year where he went 20 and 5 with a 2-5 ERA in Houston and 326 strikeouts? Probably not. Those types of seasons are once in a lifetime typically. They don't usually happen over and over again. Could Garrett Cole win 18 to 20 games again? Yeah, he could. You know what it would help? A manager who lets the man pitch. Garrett Cole gets pulled out of so many games, he shouldn't be pulled out of. He gets pulled out of so many games, he should not be pulled out of. And then may have the decision, but then they blow the lead, and now he has a no decision. This guy threw pitch last year 33 games and had 19 decisions, 15 and 4. If you want to look at last year, last season, 2023, he had no decisions in games there. He gave up pitch five and two third, gave up no runs. The Yankees won three two. Pitch six innings, gave up two runs. The Yankees won four two. Pitch five innings, gave up, gave up two runs. The Yankees won six five. No decision in a three nothing loss in which he gave up no runs in six innings. Had another game where he gave up one run in six innings and the Yankees lost 4 3. 
Another one in which he gave up one run in six innings. The Yankees lost 8-7. Another one where he pitched six and a third. Gave up two runs. The Yankees won 5-2. Another one where he pitched seven innings. Gave up three hits and no runs. The Yankees lost one nothing. These are last year's games. This is the guy who legitimately could have been 22-4. and four. Like, I'm not making this up. Another game, lost 8-7. I was at this game, actually. This was against the Marlins. The Yankees lost this game in the bottom of the ninth inning. He gave up two runs. He left the game, I believe I recall, with a five-run lead. Yeah, because the Yankees were up 7-3. The Yankees were up 7-2 going into the eighth and lost 8-7. Five-run ninth off of, if I remember correctly, I think it was Clay Holmes and a whole bunch of these bums. These are games that he had decisions in. I, I mean, it, another one, seven innings, no runs. They won 4-3. I, I mean, there's it's it's one after the other. This is a guy, last, and they're done, five innings, two runs. They won 7-5. He had at least three that I, that I know of from looking that he had the lead when he left, and they, lost, they either blew the lead and lost or blew the lead and they still won the game. At a bare minimum, Garrett Cole should have been 18-4 and four last year. Would your opinion of Garrett Cole be different if he was 18-4 and four last year and not 15-4? and four? He still won the Cy Young. I get it. You're concerned about injury. That's baseball, man. That's baseball. Garrett Cole's an elite pitcher. Garrett Cole's one of the best pitchers in baseball, still. Will he be that at 38? 37, 38, 39, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Are we really worried about what happens in four years? Or are we worried about what happens in 2025? Are we worried about whether or not, you know, we have guys that can pitch in four years? Or are we worried about if we have guys that can pitch right now? The comments that I've read about Garrett Cole and letting him go and like, like, like y'all stupid. Y'all stupid. It's like the judge comments. Y'all stupid. Juan Soto. You don't want to keep Juan Soto? Are, are, are you for real? Did you see what he did this year? You don't want to keep, you don't want Juan Soto to come back. It, I, I'm reading those types of comments. And I'm sitting here like, well, breaking the money up into other players. It's not how this shit works, bro. The man hit 288 with, I mean, this man hit 288 with 41 homers, 166 hits, a 7.9 war, 419 on base, 569 slugging. I, I mean, 128 runs, 109 RBI. And you want to let that guy go? You want to let that guy go? I mean, if they pay him, I, I, whatever they pay him is what they pay him. If that's, if that's, if that's what it takes. I don't think he's the greatest right fielder. No, I don't. But I want Juan Soto back. He's 26. That's a cornerstone to a franchise for a decade. The guy doesn't really get hurt. I mean, if you want to be real, he's played 150, then 47. That was COVID. 151, 153, 153. 162 last year with the Padres. This year, 157. This guy does not get hurt. The best ability is availability. And you think that you don't you don't want Juan Soto for I'm like get that? Yo, Yankees fans, God bless some of y'all. Some of y'all are fucking idiots. Some of y'all are fucking idiots. There are a list of guys that I would let go. If I let go of Tommy Canely, he's gone. Trevino, gone. Rizzo, gone. Torres, gone. LeMahieu, gone. I'm not so dead set on dumping Verdugo if I can, if we can. I like Alex Verdugo personally. Volpe, I, I, I like Volpe a lot too. Stanton will be back. We see what Stanton does in the playoffs. Austin Wells is a good catcher, folks. Y'all lost your minds because the dude struggled in the playoffs. He was hitting fourth for a large part of this season. Should he be hitting fourth? No. 
But Austin Wells is going to be in the top three for rookie of the year. He's a good player. You guys talk about building from your talent, your young talent, and you're so quick to want to get rid of a guy who's a young talent. I don't understand it. Some of y'all just make me laugh with some of this. I mean, Austin Wells, the dude is 25. He's 25. Yeah, his batting average dropped at the end of the season. He was in a slump. It happens. It happens. Garrett Cole, you can't let go of Garrett Cole. You got to be out of your damn mind. You got to be out of your damn mind. I get it. You see other free agents out there. Ooh, great. You see other free agents out there. Yeah, and I see some of y'all also say stuff like, you wouldn't want Alex Bregman. It's fucking stupid. I mean, that's real stupid. You don't want Alex Bregman? All y'all want Corbin Burns. Great. Everybody does. Blake Snell. Here we go again. Alex Bregman. I don't know what he did last year in terms of stats, but Alex Bregman, Alex Bregman is still a good player. I mean, his, 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 his last year probably wasn't the greatest year for him. He hit 260 with 26 homers and 75 ribby, but Alex Bregman's a good player. I would happily take Alex Bregman on my team. He's a good third baseman. He's a good player. I would happily take a gold glove third baseman on my team. like Because obviously Jazz Chisholm is going to be back probably and move to second base. Which is where he should have been playing. But the commentary that some of y'all make on Garrett Cole and Aaron Judge is cringe. <laughs> Who do you replace Garrett Cole with? Yes, I mean, look, if there's someone that I want to let go, it's Aaron Boone. And there's, yeah, there's definitely players. I mean, I would be letting go of Canely. I'd be dumping off Clay Holmes. I don't know if he's still under contract or not. I, I, I don't know. I'm not looking at it. Clay Holmes would be gone. I'm and Luke Weaver becomes your closer. You have Stroman coming back for another year, even though you didn't use him at all. I would re-sign Nestor Cortez. I like Nestor Cortez. You see that we constantly have injuries with our pitching staff. So I mean, Luis Gill should get better. I, I read something about a potential trade with him. Why would you trade that guy? Why would you? Like, y'all funny because y'all sit here and talk about how y'all want what y'all want when y'all want it. but And then you want young talent developed. Luis Gill was 15-7 and seven with a 3-5 ERA and 29 starts. He's a rookie. He's probably going to be the rookie of the year. He's 24 years old. 20, I'm sorry, 26. He's 20, 26 years old. He's probably going to be Rookie of the Year. I, I just think, folks, y'all y'all bugging. Y'all flat out bugging. Thank God Car Garrett Cole came back. Thank God. Thank God he didn't go leave and look for a, a, a place to with a help hell, hell, he might take less money if he feels they could they could help him win more. Garrett Cole still has not won a World Series. Didn't win one in Houston. I'll tell you right now, thank your lucky stars that he's coming back. Because he isn't he's still your ace. He's a beast of a pitcher. And and this this thought process of just saying let go of Juan Soto, I'm not just stupid. Here's the reality. The Yankees can afford everybody they want. They can afford everybody and anybody that they want. They did almost $700 million in revenue. They have a $400 million gap between their payroll and their revenue. 
They can afford 45, 50 million dollar players. Don't let that shit fool you. They can afford it. But y'all folks who are mad that Garrett Cole is back, y'all need to have y'all heads checked. That's all I got. This is Rudy's Rant, where we talk facts over feelings on Come On Now, the podcast. Uh, please be sure to like, subscribe, and follow, ring that bell, become a member, and also go over to Rudy's Rant on YouTube and subscribe there. I thank you so much. Come on now.